and welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a sketch in um, nx23 version i have already done many videos on um, nx older version and this is nx23 um, just i'm just taking a similar example uh, which i have done it in a nx older version so now we can see here this is the one i am going to discuss with you how we can do it in nx23 um because nx23 version uh sketcher environment is little bit different than older version uh when it comes to dimensioning and uh, constraining so let us discuss that in this video so now you can see here this is our nx window so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to new and uh, we don't have any option in here to create a sketcher uh, you know, uh, environment so we just need to go to modeling and then we can enter into sketcher environment so now we can see here this is our uh, coordinate system and now let me go to sketch and select any of the plane and just click ok so now in the older version if you see uh, there will be access uh, which will be available uh, when you enter into a sketcher environment but here there will be uh, horizontal and vertical lines which is an infinite so this you can see it is an endless uh, uh, you know uh, vertical and horizontal lines which you can able to use it for sketcher environment and whenever you are trying to do it in uh, nx23 version make sure that this show movable is switched on i'm going to explain it what it is and how it will be useful for us in uh, creating sketcher environment so now you can see here this is the uh, you know practice model that i'm going to do today so so first of all uh, as you know that whenever i take a sketcher environment i'll just uh, start doing uh, first circles so whenever you do circles uh, it will be easy for you to constrain and um, complete the sketch model so now uh, you can see here 62 diameter and 42 diameter there are two circles okay so i'm going to draw them and here you can see there are two more circles uh, with 8 and uh, 16 diameter so let us make it now so I'll just go to circle and I'll just make it this and I'll just draw it okay so once you draw you can see here this is just a gray circle you can see here there this color is gray so it means that it is movable okay so if you select it and if you try to move it so it is going to change it it is not you know fixed so you can see here it is not fixed so whenever uh, you can see in a gray uh, color curve in sketcher environment so it is not constrained you need to constrain it so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this circle and there will be in dimension shown so i'll just double click on it and i'll just give it as a 62 diameter and whenever you give a first dimension this window will come you can just click s for this okay so now you can see whatever the circle we have drawn it will be the color will be changed to black color so if it is a black color then it is not movable it is completely constrained and also you can just verify by using you can see here in the bottom side sketch is fully defined okay so now i'm going to draw one more circle that is 40 diameter so i'll just go to circle again and uh, i'll just draw it here okay so once you hit escape you can see here it is grayed so which is movable so i'll just select this and let us make it as a 40 diameter so whenever you draw any circles or any curves just try to make it in uh, you know non-movable so non-movable about nothing but it is constrained so that it will be easy for you okay so now you can see uh, two circles are done and now i'm going to draw these two circles um, there are eight circles that are there so what i can do is i'll just go to circles here and i'm going to draw a circle on this line okay and there will be one more circle let us draw it here okay and just escape you can see they are great so let me make it one with a 16 diameter okay and another with a 8 diameter okay so now i'm just need to constrain this because you can see here it is uh, moving still so whatever this center line should be lying on this infinite line so what i can do is uh, i'm just going to select this center okay and then i'm going to select this line so once you do select this line you can see here uh, there are some constraint that is highlighted though only this coincide is highlighted 
so if any other is possible to provide a constraint then they are going to highlight so now only this is there so i'm just going to select it so now you can see our circle is completely black okay so now these center of this circle and center of this circle should be coincide each other so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this center and i'm going to select this center and just make it as a concentric okay so you can see here now all our circles are constrained so fully defined okay so now as if you go to your uh, drawing you can see here there are eight number of holes so we just need to make a pattern here so just go to pattern and uh, which are the two curves that i'm going to uh, pattern this curve and this curve okay and it should be circular pattern so we don't want a linear and another uh, pattern so we are going to get a select a circular pattern and now rotation points so along which rotation along which point it should rotate so it should be from this point okay so now we can see here count and span so we need uh, six counts okay and uh, 360 degree the span will be 360 degree so if you don't know how to you know input these values and how we can calculate these things so we already made a video on pattern curve so just go through that uh, pattern curve video uh, you will come to know how we can um, input this okay so i'll just click okay here and you can see uh, whatever the curves we created by using these three options offset pattern and mirror so they will be dependent on this parent curves so that is why we don't need to provide any constraint or any dimensions for these they are already converted into black color so which is not which is nothing but it is fully constrained so now if you go and check your drawing you can see here this curve is trimmed okay so we are going to trim this curve by using a trim command here and you just trim it so once it is trimmed all uh, since we have patterned it so it will be trimmed in all the positions okay so now if you go to drawing you can see here there are again a circles here so which i'm going to draw it so this uh, diameter is 30 and uh, 20 two circles and three times here okay so let us draw them i'll just minimize this and just go to circle so since a one of our circle is on this line i'm going to draw it immediately so this will avoid one more our operation which is constraining so one is 30 mm and another one is 20 diameter so i'll just select this this let us make it as 30 okay and i'm going to select one more which is going to be 20 okay and now uh, you can see even if you give the diameter and um, you know we have we have constrained it on this so vertical line so it is gray color so it is movable along this direction okay so now let's draw two more circles so i'll just go to here draw it or else you can just you uh, know draw it and uh, there will be diameter shown so you can enter the value here and then uh, again if you want to make it this is 20 so both are same let us make it 30 and uh, this should be 20 okay so these six holes are completed now so now as you can see here they are completed and now we can see here there is an arc here which is of 100 radius okay which is tangent to these three holes outer holes so let us make it now so i'll just go to arc okay and from this center i'm going to start it and the radius should be 100 okay and i'm going to draw it okay by looking at your uh, drawing you can see here these are tangent and they're inside not outside so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move it inside okay and so that we can just provide a tangency so how we can provide tangency you just need to select two curves so this curve and this curve i'm going to select and these are the possible possible constraint that you can able to provide we can provide that perpendicularity parallelity and make a vertical horizontal and then coincide so now we need tangent so i'm going to give it as tangent okay so similarly this also will be tangent to this okay and once this is tangent and this is also tangent so let us make it as tangent here okay 
so once this is tangent and now we can see here uh, whatever this point should lie on this circle so what i'm going to do is i'll just select this point and this circle and make it as a coincide okay so it is trimmed either you can trim it or you can just make it as a coincide okay so now uh, you can see here there is a dimension of 65 mm from this center to this line so let us draw that so i'm going to select this point and i'm going to select this point so whatever the dimension it is 65 okay so now you can see here all the dimensions are given that is why uh, all the circles and including this curve is black color now okay so now we are only left with this so what we can do today is we are going to draw a vertical lines on both sides and we'll just make a fillet of 18 radius so now what i'm going to do is i'll just draw a line here from this point so it's a tangent line okay so now either you can just draw an arc and make a trim but instead of that i'll just go to fillet and i'll just make it as a okay just a minute i just need to extend this go to fillet and now it is 18 radius okay so similarly i'm going to do it on this side sorry fillet this is 18 radius okay so now you can see here our complete sketch is in black color so which is nothing but is it's completely constrained and by that we can just confirm that it is completely constrained and now we can also see here sketch is fully defined so which is nothing but it is completely constrained this is how we can make it in nx23 version guys so so i'm going to give you a few more examples uh, practice example for sketcher moment in nx23 version so please stay tuned and support my channel thank you guys